Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair Thank nation. you for tuning into the Pointless Talks podcast. Tonight, I'm talking to someone other than myself, so let's get into it before I get carried away. For those who are familiar or who aren't aware, whenever I have guests, I usually let them introduce themselves. So you're free to introduce yourself as you see fit. Hi, everyone. My name is Freya R. So you may know me. You know, I do a lot of modeling acting. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. So some of the questions I'm going to be asking might be redundant. It might be questions that you've been asked before. It might be questions that you've never been asked before. So just brace yourself. Keep an open mind. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start off with the lighter stuff, of course. You know, just ease into it. Get to know you. Just background and stuff like that. Um, Where are you from? What's your ethnic background? Okay. So I was born and raised in Miami. Um. My family, they're across the globe. So some was from Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, uh, Cuba. So it's a whole island mix we got going on. Okay. Were you born? You said you were born here in Miami, right? Yes. Okay. Have you ever lived anywhere else? No. No. So you Florida lived? all my life. Okay. Really? <laughs> yeah. Florida? The whole- I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you ever visited any of these countries that you represent? Um, no. no. I haven't got a chance to. I would love to. Uh, have you some- left the country? Yes. Okay. I've been okay. to. The- China, Thailand, really? New York, New Jersey, California. Hmm. How'd you end up in China? It was like a family tour that we all went together. It was pretty fun. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Do you speak Spanish? Un poco. No mucho, but yo really? entiende. Same. Wow. And you grew up in Miami? I'm being so like ignorant right now, yeah. but I have to ask because I'm no. like, even I speak a little bit of Spanish, but yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, we never had like, one spot our family always kept moving but it was within florida okay so miami i was born and raised a little bit but okay. then we traveled down for lauderdale okay and we traveled like miami gardens it was like back and forth type thing okay okay so your parents don't speak spanish in the home really or when they're mad really so it's mostly english for the most part like you grew up speaking english like it yeah. was a- okay so spanish is a second language for you it's not your first so. I'll say it's a mixture. Okay. Because then I was, I grew up a lot in my grandmother's house as well. Okay. And my grandmother is just straight Spanish. Okay. So it's been a mixture. So you understand most of, not yeah, all. Yeah, it's just some it's words just... I can't pronounce. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. As Well, outside of speaking Spanish, how in touch with you are your, are you with your roots? Real well. Especially okay. with the food. Oh, oh, I was about God. to ask you. I was like, yeah. you eat <laughs> the arroz con pollo con guichuela. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, because I was going to ask, you know, you eat platano, salami, oh, fungo, yes. all of that. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <Tear it up. laughs> okay. Do you cook? Uh, yes, I surely do. Okay. So, as far as that goes, what kind of music do you listen to? Um, I listen a lot to, like, um, hip-hop. Okay. You know, um, Pop. Uh, what's been uh, going in my mind lately has been Nicki Minaj, you oh know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, Ariana Grande is a woman. Beyonce, of course, the queen. Uh, Rihanna <laughs> and okay. Cardi B now, too. Ooh. Okay. Do you listen to Spanish music like um, reggaeton or? When, I'm, when we're out at a club or something, we're partying, but not like. Okay. Radio, no. Okay. So, do you dance? Yes. Okay. Do you dance to Spanish music, bachata, yes. merengue, salsa, all that stuff? You, yes. you got it down. All right. I might need to call you for some lessons. All right, baby girl. <laughs> um, <laughs> as a person of Hispanic descent or anything, do you have a preference with being called Latin or Hispanic? Is there any kind of difference for you personally? For me, no. Okay. Honestly. Okay, because I know some people are like, oh, I'm Latina, I don't want to be called, you know, whatever. So I'm masking. Do you consider yourself to be Caribbean? Because you've mentioned some islands that are technically in the Caribbean, you know, like Dominican Republic, there's Cuba and things like that. They are in the Caribbean Sea. Do you personally consider yourself to be Caribbean? Honestly, me and myself, I just, I go with the flow, okay. you know? I mean, if you put me in a group, you know, because... I light skin, you know, and then they see blonde hair, they'd be like, oh, who's that white blonde guy, you know? And I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not white. But <laughs> okay, well, that's one of the questions I have. Do you consider yourself to be black, white, or do you just stick to Hispanic, mixed? Which way do you go I with that? I got a trait of a little bit of everything, so I okay. try not to, like, put me in one little spot. Okay. I like to take it all. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, do you know if any of the countries that you represent, do they have carnival? Do they participate in, like, Caribbean carnival? Or do they have any kind of... If event that is similar to that like as far as like the gathering and the music and stuff like that um i would say probably puerto rico okay they have like a carnival 
Yeah, I believe okay. so. Like they have okay. some celebration because I know okay. like some of my friends that like, they grew up in Puerto Rico and they always had parties and all that kind of stuff up there. Have you ever been to like the Caribbean carnival that we have here? Like you know, in my... no, no. no. Okay. I probably will be soon. I got invited to be one of the models, so ooh, you never know. You might just see my face. Okay, <laughs> okay. I see you out here. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, do you identify as a member of the LGBTQ community? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm asking the people. You know, they. Don't know, so I'm asking. Okay, what letter do you identify as? Girl, I got two letters. Okay, what? <laughs> what are they? <laughs> well, one, I'm a trans woman, of course. Okay, and, you know, I like both genders. I don't discriminate. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. Do you prefer more masculine or feminine woman? I don't know. It depends on the person. Okay, so like you're just open-minded both. all the way around. Yeah, all the way. Okay. What, what attracts me the most is personality. Okay. Are you out? Of course. You out to everyone, parents, family, friends, etc. Yes. How was that experience coming out with your family? It's a headache. I mean, we still going at it with them, but um, well, my mom, she's slowly easing her way in and like understanding. Like the rest of my family, we, you know, we kick back a little bit. We don't talk as much, but okay. we talk here and there. Okay. I don't know. It's like a stroke, like a chain with the rest of my family. So I just hope within time, everything just comes back together. Are you still living with your mom? Yes. Okay. Okay. Are your parents still together? No. Um, okay. Uh, my dad left when I was one years old, so he was gone, and then he left, he was he was sentenced ten years. So after he got out, he stood in Northport. So it was like okay. a three-hour drive from here, but we didn't keep much communication. Recently is when we're starting to communicate. Okay. So everything's okay. working our way up. Okay. <laughs> How did he receive you with you coming out and things like that? I mean, he was um, he was like better accepting though I really that. like he's like he said that he needs time to get used to it however you know he still loves me and oh, he's sweet. gonna you know work his way onto it and i'm like okay did you expect that or did you have like a completely opposite expectation as far as that went um compared to the rest of my family i kind of expected it okay because it's like you never like knew me growing up so it's like if you're trying to bond with the person trying to you know connect with them mm-hmm. You're going to have to accept them for them, you know? True. How was it coming out to friends? Friends? Uh, I lost a couple friends, you know, but... Um, they weren't really friends. Right. <laughs> On the dot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, some people, like, they already knew. They was just waiting for me to come out. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, the rest, like, you know, especially I came out during high school. Okay. So, like, kids were, like, too friendly about it, you mm-hmm. know, but... I kept my head up. I kept it okay. strong because, you know, why? at the end of the day, I'm going to do me. And okay. once we graduate, I ain't going to see them no more. Exactly. So are you still in high school now? No, I graduated. Okay. All. You just graduated. Oh. Yes, baby. Yes, Class honey. of 2018. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Make me feel old, but congratulations. <laughs> but, okay, so you came out in high school. You started transitioning in high school. Yeah. How was that? Like, did you already have long hair? Or did you grow your hair out as a part of your transition? Or... Um, I grew it out my freshman year, honestly. Okay. So it was already grown out. But, like, before I officially transitioned, I mean, bef- like, when I officially came out, mm-hmm. it was during my senior year. Okay. However, throughout the years, you would see me put makeup on. Okay. Then the next year, I start wearing dresses mm-hmm. and everything. So it was, like, over time, okay. it built up. How was that going? Because I know people nowadays, kids nowadays, they are horrible. And high school is very trying yeah. time in your life and things of that nature. You know, everybody's really coming into themselves or starting to come into themselves. So how was that experience like with you making these changes from freshman to senior year? Um, people would look at me different. Mm-hmm. They would think I'm a freak or whatever. Mm-hmm. But honestly, I just, I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, damn, you're a bad bitch. <laughs> you gotta keep it pushing. You know? Exactly. Even though like back then I had like more masculine face Okay. So I was like very like, you know, not too confident as okay. a man now. And um kind of like it's just mess with my head a lot. Did you have any like backlash from people that you didn't expect to get like negative feedback from? Um I would say some of my friends who I got in altercations with okay. and like and they then they throw that in my face, you know? Really? Really. So I was like, wow, okay, so then Cut, cut, chop, chop. Yeah. You already know. You don't know somebody till you know them. <laughs> exactly. All right. How does your culture, like being Hispanic, how does your culture react towards like members of the LGBT, specifically trans people, as far as you know? They don't tolerate it. They don't play with it. They go hard down Christian. I'd be like, um, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my 
my gosh. And that's one of the questions I have to ask you. Are you religious? Like, did you grow up with a religious background? Yes. Everyone's like, Christian. Every They used to wake me up trying to take me to church. Oh, I'll go, wow. I'll fall asleep during church because I'd be, be real tired in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are your parents, like, religious? Your mom and grandma, things like that? Everybody. Yes. Did they try to give you scripture as far as? Of course. They were telling me, like, oh, my God, no, you're a man and all this kind of stuff. And that you will never be a woman that you can't because you don't you can't give birth and all that kind of stuff. Oh and goodness. I was like, I said, newsflash, there's some women who are naturally born who cannot give birth. Say that. And I, I always say that. Exactly. So it's like you can't base it off of that. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's all about what's in the head and the mind and the heart. Yeah. OK. Are you do you I don't know how in touch you are with like fam. Do you have family in those other countries like outside of the United States? I probably do, but I don't know. them. OK. So people that you're not familiar with. So you said you started transitioning like freshman year of high school, really, like you started changing, wearing makeup and yes. things of that nature. As far as hormones go, like, did you start taking hormones in high school, like before you graduated? Yeah, towards the end of it. Towards the end of it. OK, your parent, your mom supported that. She was OK with you doing that. Or is that something you had to do on your own? I had to do it on my own. She ain't had a choice. You know? Okay. I was 18. I'm grown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, did you identify as a bisexual man or a gay man prior to? Um, prior, I was identified bisexual. It's okay. never changed. Okay. All right. So have you always felt like you were a woman? Is of this course. something that you've always like from your when did you first like have this inkling that something isn't, you know? When the I was same? young. You know, I would wear my mother's heels and all that. Mm -hmm. And I would have these dreams of me actually being a woman. Really? And then I wake up and I'm like, fuck, you know? (laughs) And I'd be like sad and all that. But I would keep that emotions to myself Mm -hmm. because it's like my family taught me to be strong. They taught me that showing emotions was not what a man was supposed to do. So it was like... This toxic masculinity, don't bring it with me now. I'm telling you, like... (laughs) And I was like, damn. So it was very hard for me to express my emotions. Mm-hmm. And then seeing how, like, my sister and, and my brother, how they got affected. And my sister got kicked out. I was young. So I learned. I was like, I'm young. Let me shut the fuck up and wait till I get older. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So you have a brother and a sister. Yes. Okay, just the three of you? Yes. Okay. My how s- did they take it? Um, Very well, because each one of them is part of the LGBT. Okay. Yep. She got three kids, and my sister, she's trans as well. And then my brother, he's gay, so. Wow. So, MTF, FTM? Uh, um, M to F. Uh, F no, M to F. Had to wow. think about it. Yeah. So, originally had three boys. Yep. Well, now they got daughters. <laughs> wow. Okay, son. Okay, so did your sister help you, like, through this process? Like, was this... Honestly, it was more like the opposite, even though I'm the youngest, because I transitioned before her. Okay, so you feel like you gave her the courage to do it? She even admitted and told me that. And I was like, oh, my God. And I gave her a hug and everything. So, like, you know, I taught her some stuff, you know. Okay. some stuff, and I helped her out. She was living in Northport, but then she came down here. I helped her with the connections to other people that were part of the associations to Mm -hmm. help her out with her, like, medications and all that kind of stuff to help her transition. Okay. So, you got all the hookups, huh? You've been doing your research. You've been looking things up. Yes, baby. All the way. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right. So, all right. Give me a little bit of backstory now. Um, growing up, like middle school, elementary school, things like that, did you ever experience, even in high school, bullying or anything of that sort? All in, the way. In relation to being gay or effeminate or anything of that nature? Yes. All of the um, above. Honestly, like starting off in middle school, like um, I went to an all black school. So it was, I was, they looked at me like I was white powder, you mm-hmm. know? <laughs> <laughs> So then they would always talk about my walk. They would say my walk is funny. Yeah, because you know? listen, bitch, you walked up and I was like, okay, you're not on the catwalk. No. I see you strutting from the car to the door, sis. <laughs> That's just my natural walk, baby. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. So then it was like very hard and then people would like pick on me. But, you know, me being tough and the way how my family mm-hmm. raised me to be tough, I wasn't tolerating it. So I'd be okay. getting a lot in a lot of fights and... It was real hectic and toxic versus now I'm more calm and more okay. relaxed and mm-hmm. I love it like that. Okay. All right. So did dealing with that, you accepted yourself early on for 
who you feel you are, what you are, and everything of that nature. So you, early on, you were just like, this is me, that's what it is. Yes. Right? Honestly, the only, like, early on, the only thing that worried me about me was family. Okay. Everybody else, I said, you know, I don't care. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, y'all only temporarily. Family is what's going to last forever, and that's what I got to stick to in my head. This is true. Did you ever question, like, God or anything like that as far as why he made you this way or if he made you in the wrong body or any of these questions? Of course. I had those thoughts. Um, but honestly, I came in terms to accepting the facts of, I think, like, he put me in this way to have this journey of life. Mm-hmm. And, you know, to show my family. Because the rest of the family is... There's no trans person. You know, there's mm-hmm. no... There, my family were not very LGBT friendly. So maybe mm-hmm. that's the way of showing God, Shane, like, hey, like, they're here. You got to you gotta deal with it. Okay. You know, and she popped out three LGBT kids. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just probably genetics. <laughs> <laughs> so your journey, your life so far, like, how would you categorize it? You feel like you've had, like, a good journey, like, what you've been through and everything. You say it's made you stronger. And, like, as a whole, would you categorize your experiences as positive Honestly, yes, there's the highs and the lows, of course. But I would say in my situation, and I kind of had a little easier route than most women do Mm -hmm. in my case. Okay. Um, Have you ever felt broken? Of course. Okay. What did you do in a situation like that? Like, you feel broken. What do you do? Like, where do you find your strength as far as, you know, whatever the situation is when you get to that point? Um, Whenever I need to relieve stress, I go to the beach at night. I go night swimming. And I just listen to the ocean, to the waves, and it's just so peaceful. And if you look up and you see the sky, it's like pure beauty. Pure okay. Beauty. You say you just graduated high school. Yes. Did you run for prom queen? Sure did. How did that go? Not well. Yeah, kids were complaining. Then they brought their parents into it. So then the whole school, they took me off. And then they made a third nomination, which was like majesty. It was neutral grounds. Wow. So they threw me in that category and I was like, okay. I said, I appreciate the crown, but like in my heart, I felt kind of like disrespected. Cheated. Yeah. Do you feel like you would have won prom queen if they left it? All the way, (laughs) all the way. And then, um, not to mention that, you know, every year they make a yearbook, right? Mm -hmm. So then they had a yearbook for, um, the prom king and queen, which are seniors. Okay. But then, um, they put them there in front cover. Fine. You know what they did with the majesty? They put it in the back where the context is at. I was like, Yikes. how disrespectful is this? That like, is very disrespectful. Because I remember I seen something on your Instagram as far as, you know, the issues going on with high school and everything like that. And I was like, wait, what? Yeah. But, I mean, I'm really not surprised because as though we are shedding more light on the community and things that, you know, hey, we're normal, we're human. It's still a lot for some people to accept. What high school did you go to? Fort Lauderdale High. Which is like right down smack of Wilton Manors where all the gays and everything is at. So it's like, I don't understand. That's closed minds. Closed minds. Exactly. I, you know, okay. So as far as this, I'm going to ask you a personal question. Go ahead, okay? girl. All right. So <laughs> since you do dress feminine all the time, right? Right. Do you tuck every day? Um, no, not really. <laughs> uh, honestly, I just... Throw my clothes on. It looks like I'm tucking, but I'm really not. Okay. Just, okay. And you know what's better? I put on, like, sometimes I wear double underwear. Okay. That way it looks like I got a fat pussy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So I have a question as far as, like, dating goes. Because the question always comes up when people talk about, you know, people of trans experience. Like, when do you introduce yourself as trans to someone? Like, if you're in a dating scene or if you're at a club or anything like that, when do you feel is an appropriate time to come out as trans? Or is that something you lead with? Or um, Some people, they don't say nothing until far off. I okay. tell them right off the bat as soon as I see them. Okay. I make sure they know. Like, they before they, they're like, hey, you want to go out? And I was like, and I'll tell them, be like, hey, by the way, do you know that I, I'm trans? You know? And that's just that. What kind of responses have you gotten to that? They'd be like, oh, wow. You know, there's like, I didn't even know. And I'm like, that's well, the point. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> well, I'm trans, you know. And it's like, oh, I don't, you know, mess with that. And a lot of people, they'd be bouncing. Some people, they'd be thinking like it's a fetish type shit and they just want to keep hitting me. And I just, I leave past it. I don't got time for that. Yeah. That's, you know, it's crazy to me because you hear all these stories about like people getting caught with trans women and like, oh, I didn't know and like things of that. And I'm just like, Okay, you know, because, like, yeah. if you're having sex with someone, regardless of how you're having sex, 
you're going to figure out somewhere along the lines that, hey, this is a trans person, whether they had surgery or not. So I feel like what you're saying as far as like the whole fetish thing goes, a lot of people, well, I shouldn't say a lot. Some people do go that route as far as a fetish or just curious or whatever the case is. And I like that you're just like, no, you want a relationship or whatever it is. You don't want to be treated as what you, you know, your experience, yeah. basically. Honestly. Yeah, that's that's whack. That's whack as hell. Um, okay, so do you want children? Of course. Okay. I want children, honestly, so badly. Like, <laughs> I get teary and all that, but I'm like, of course, like, not right now. I'm going to wait till like, I'm way more older, probably uh-huh. like around 30-something. Okay. So I got some time. Okay. Do you want them to be, like, of your genes, or do you want to adopt, or either or? Honestly, I really want one to be, like, my gene, and okay. then I could adopt the rest. Okay. But however, how many are you trying to have? Um, and the just, rest, you know, two, okay. you know, max three, okay. but two, you know, I want. All right. But um, I I want to have my surgery within the next year. Okay. So that's gonna, gonna be, be one of my next questions. You plan on having surgery? Yeah. Top and bottom, or um, honestly, I would just say bottom because like my breast this is only like <laughs> four months in. She is showing me her boobs right now. She yes. is fluffing and plumping. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It's four months in, really. Yeah. And they say like, um, it takes like some take a year or two before they fully mature. So okay. I know I got time, and I'm gonna be. I'm already happy with them right now. You know. <laughs> okay. So you don't really want them much bigger. No. Okay. All just, right. B is the good size for me. B in f- four months. Yeah. That's what's up. Have you had any negative side effects to taking hormones, like emotionally or anything of that nature? Um, I learned to control my emotions. Okay. Um. Side effects, my hunger increased insatiably a lot. Really? I noticed it within the week, and I was like, well, why am I eating all this? So I learned how to control my hunger. Okay. I got better at that. Emotional-wise, you know, at the beginning, I was crying a lot and everything, but now I got everything pretty much under okay, control. Okay, you've regulated and everything like yeah. that. Have you ever consulted with a therapist? Yes. Before, um, down here in Broward County, you have to go do therapy before you get the medication. Okay. Yeah. Did not know that. That's that's a good prerequisite, but I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Okay. As a whole, with your experience with high school and everything of that nature, do you feel like you should reach back and like enlighten people as far as these experiences go? Because, of course, we know a lot of these things, a lot of hatred does come from ignorance, more than likely. And a lot of people don't know, even though we do have the internet at our fingertips. Do you feel like you're responsible based on your experience to like speak out about your experience and just equality as far as anybody as a whole not even just people of trans experience i would say yeah kind of like i want like my side to be told of course okay in the future i would love to like set up platforms where i can give back to the youth you know to like Mm -hmm. let them know like like people who are in the same predicament as me, let them know that they're not alone. Because a lot of them feel like they're alone. But trust me, I after I reached out to the organization, there is so many. They're just you just don't notice it, but there's a lot of us. And you you want to plug any of those organizations for anyone listening that might be too shy or anything to reach out and say, "Hey, I need help" or anything of the sort. Sunserve, baby girl. Sunserve, which is right there, smack down Wilton Manners. They're one of the best organizations around, and they help you get with everything as far as medication. They help you out with therapy and all of that. Also, yes, they help me with okay. medication, therapy, name change, everything. On the topic of name change, (laughs) do you mind sharing your birth name? Of course. Um, My birth name was Julian Adrian Perez. Huh. Where'd Freya come from? I'm thinking it's going to say like Fernando or something (laughs) like that. (laughs) No. (laughs) Freya came because like originally started out when I, you seen, I don't know if you've seen the originals, but it started off from Freya, which was like a powerful, strong witch, you Ah. know? And I love to be powerful, and I want to be a powerful woman. So then I did further more research. There's also a goddess on the Vikings known as Freya, the goddess of love, beauty, and death. So I was like... You're just going to be a bad bitch. Exactly. (laughs) I was like, oh my God, and this name, it just stuck then, and I was like, fuck it. Okay. So your name on all government forms has been changed to Freya. Uh, not my birth certificate. Okay. Been kind of a little lazy and I've been busy lately. Okay. But, but your ID it. does say Freya? Yes. Okay. It says Freya and it also says F for female. 
Yeah. You go. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's what's up. Go you. You yes. know, so you out here making moves. Thank you. Thank you. All right. See, I, me personally, like, I don't know if you're familiar, but the whole point of this podcast for me is just to spread awareness. Like you said, let people know that they're not alone. Let people know that, you know, hey, there are other people out there like you. They, I mean, especially people from like the Caribbean and things of that nature, because even with being Hispanic, I know that you guys like your cultures mirror ours a little bit, but as far as outside of the language barrier I know that they're very strong people for the most right. part and the same thing like you're telling me like you know they don't really do the emotions thing and I'm sitting here like girl don't I know it <laughs> you know what I'm saying you. so what? it's like you would sit here and you talk about oh I don't feel good or oh I feel they look at you crazy like yeah. what do you mean you, you know like, what I'm saying some aspirin, go to work Ex- Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like, unless you're, like, bleeding to death, exactly. you are, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. Live your life. You tell somebody, hey, I'm coming out, you know, I, I'm i attracted to the same gender. What? What's wrong with you? You'd That's like, the first thing. Ex- that's their favorite one it's a phase you don't know what you're talking about you're confused or you know so that's why like even though you know it's caribbean whether you identify as caribbean or not i really personally don't care even if it could be someone american it's just people of the experience because it is so important to know that i'm not alone like i'm not different in the sense of course we're all different but your experience could mirror or help someone else you know what i'm saying especially with all the tragedies that are happening surrounding this people that are taking their lives because of this and you know to see you here for flourishing as well as you are you know what i'm saying you out here you graduated high school you actually took the step to speak out and run for prom queen and things like that and i could imagine there's so many women out there that are first of all afraid to transition afraid to take the step to transition or even to come out and say or even accept themselves for being misgendered or whatever the case is so that's really my whole thing with this show because yeah i'm you know i sit here and i talk shit all day and whatever and it's clowning and all that it's laughs and jokes and everything but at the core of it my goal is to either enlighten or assist to help someone else in the future so even if you're an ally even if you're confused even if you just feel like all lgbtq people are gross and disgusting maybe you listen to these stories and feel like hey maybe they're not that different after all I actually yeah. had a conversation with somebody the other day and i was talking about an ex-girlfriend that i had and the way the relationship developed and everything like that and they're like y'all aren't that different i'm sitting here like duh yeah. like <laughs> the fuck like do you think we have horns growing out of our heads like we're just human beings we just love differently like that's the only difference and i shouldn't even say differently it's just we're attracted to the same gender we feel a little bit different from how we were born or whatever the case is so i just i like to sit down and talk to people just for me myself to learn and also to spread the word and enlighten other people so i mean sorry for my little rant just now but you know what i'm saying it's just it's one of those things that i've grown to be more passionate about as i've gotten more involved in it so it's like meeting people like you like you like you walk like you run it like you walk with an air confidence mm-hmm. like you came out the car and i'm sitting here texting shadow and i'm like bitch this hoe is slaying <laughs> like, thank you, you know thank what i'm saying you. so i'm just like i love to see that because you walk with the confidence of a woman that knows this is what i am this is what i'm doing and i'm coming to fucking do this shit exactly basically. so you, you know what i'm saying it. giving you your props so i'm just saying congratulations on everything that you've done up until this point and all the things that you plan on doing moving forward thank i you. saw that you won prom queen for was it tg was it tig prom the yeah. L- LGBT prom the trans inclusive yes, yes trans inclusive organization put that on and I was just like well first of all Shadow I didn't even know when it was I heard about it coming up but I didn't know when it was and Shadow sent me the link to vote for you for prom queen and I was like oh shit let me vote for you yes. <laughs> so I was like alright cool and then like a couple weeks I was like look at you and i was looking at your little pictures i was like all right i was yes. watching because i know a couple people who did go to the prom watching via snapchat and instagram live and i was like look at y'all out here doing it you know what i'm saying oh, who made your outfit oh <laughs> uh, let me put this out there <laughs> his name is christian uh c carl designs is his instagram user okay. um he's my personal designer and he's one of the best i love him okay all right how long have you been modeling modeling two years been paired up with the agency it's been like i think six months now okay so you were modeling pre-transition because you said yes. two years so before you so how did that work with them did they categorize you as male or female when you really started when they when started, started you as yeah okay and then with your agency now you're straight strictly female yes everything my agency i just got with them mm-hmm. like uh six months ago i was 
they already, they already knew they accept me female and everything so everything was okay. good but like beforehand i was very like more independent mm-hmm. and i was like focused on myself and all that kind of stuff so but i was doing like a couple photo shoots here and there and all that okay. but now i was like i'm finally getting <laughs> a little prom- promotions out there like it's okay. going good I love yeah because i'm seeing your instagram and it's just slay after slay after stay you oh, in events you. you on catwalks and i'm like Thank you, thank you, love. Go you. <laughs> do you plan on taking this, like, profession? Like, is this what you want to do? Of course. This is what I want my career to be. I'll be a model and an actress. Okay. Are you doing acting classes? Or you do? Have you done any acting? Yes, my agency, they train me on that. They train me on modeling and acting. And they have, like, step-by-steps and makeup tutorials and all that. So they teach me everything. Okay, so you can do your own makeup and all that fun I, stuff? Yes. I did my makeup okay. today. Okay. Damn. See, listen, I, I I did mine. I put on some chapstick this morning. Um, <laughs> that's that's the extent of mine. Maybe a little <laughs> eyeliner, maybe some mascara. I'm pushing it. But <laughs> props to you. Props thank to you. you. Thank you. Um, are you in school? Are you planning on going back to school? Um, college, yes. I plan on doing college business because I do want to open up my own fashion boutique. Okay. And I want to connect with a couple designers that way we can keep the ball rolling and make some money. All right. (laughs) I learned earlier today that you have a YouTube channel. Yes. I haven't had a chance to check it out because I'm trash. What do you do on YouTube? I do a little bit of everything. You know, I just I keep everyone entertained and then I, I give them blogs about my life here okay. and there. And um, I haven't posted anything in a month yet, but okay. I try to, I, I thought all the stuff I got on my plate, I try to keep as much posted as possible. But um, everything's pretty good. Last I posted was like my four months HRT update. Okay. So it was pretty good on that. I also done music videos. Now, like I released it, uh, not now, but like before I released the two songs that I, I was featured in. So probably you might get a music video off of that. Who knows? Or okay. you may get a new song. So you're singing? Uh, I rap. Oh. Yes. So you rap as well. Uh, of course. Multi-talented. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So you want to plug a YouTube channel on there for anybody who's of interested? Of course. It's called... Wait, hold on. Because I, I, <laughs> I know I just changed the name not too long ago. Like a month ago, I changed the name. Because it, it used to have been in my old name. Okay. But then I had to change to my new name. Okay. So the YouTube channel is called FR Productions. So you can look that up and it's voila, you can get entertainment, baby. (laughs) (laughs) You said, how long have you been YouTubing? It's been a year, I think so. Okay. So you basically, do you document your transition like from day one till now? Like you do updates based Um, on? Yeah, I do updates here and there because it's like too much to document like every week or whatever. I I go by months. It's more easier. As far as hormones, I not familiar as far as you know mtf goes are you do you take shots or is it pills or? um you could take multiple stuff you could take shots whatever okay. i take pills i don't okay. like shots <laughs> really is it something you take every day or? yes i take every it every day. day yeah you have to take it at a set time or is it just any time as long um as it's- you can be any time as long as it's consistent on the same time hmm. mm. as you've been transitioning your dosages it's gotten lower as you've progressed or is this got higher got higher yes um you start off small because you don't want to start off with way too much okay because you still will have testosterone in your body so Mm -hmm. they'll give you like uh they gave me two pills one is to give me estrogen one is to take away my testosterone so as that goes by my testosterone is extremely low right now okay and my estrogen is really high so it's still building up but once it gets to the high number then that's when they're going to decrease your dosage that way they can keep it as far as that goes the changes in your body that you've experienced since taking you know these uh, medications what's your favorite feature so far um i would say my breast you know (laughs) And my face, like uh-huh. my face before, I was looking like manly as fuck. Really? Now it's like more feminine now and I love it. Okay. My shoulders, they're still like getting there. They bother me a little bit. But other than that, my legs are pretty feminine. Uh, everything else. Do you, Did you have facial hair prior to um, No, I always shave it. Okay, but you naturally had like, was it a lot of facial hair or was it just minimal? Okay. No, no, no. All right. So it wasn't too much. So you've always had like baby face thing yeah. going. As far as you said, everything else, your legs are more feminine and everything of that nature. Yes. Everything's okay. And then like my feet, they mm-hmm. shrink. Like really? I went two sizes down on woman heels. Like I was a 10, now I'm an 8. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> I don't like big feet. <laughs> See, and you know, it's crazy because, of course, I know there's definite changes as far as, like, your face softening up and things like that. But ignorantly, I personally did not know that it went as far as, you know, shoe sizes and things of that nature. So, mm-hmm. you know, I had to get a whole new wardrobe. I'm telling you, girl, <laughs> I still got to get some more clothes. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. So, 
the agency that you're with have you been able to do any traveling or anything of that nature um so far everything's been miami um i did a lot of the miami fashion week mm -hmm. and swim the globe currently the the new york fashion week you know mm -hmm. i didn't make it on the chopping board but you know i gotta work two times harder now so okay. that way i can make it on to the next one i mean it's something that's right there you can get it if you really want it so yeah. I, I have no doubt at all that you would be able to achieve that oh, as far you. as um swimwear goes are you comfortable modeling in swimwear um yes for First time, no. I was like nervous as hell. And I was like, um, when they put me in the fitting room, like they was like, here, try this on. And I was like, and I was like, wait, wait, because the designer, I was like, you know, I'm trans. He was like, you're trans for real? And I was like, fucking yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, 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 yes, like, yes oh. bitch, thank you, but yes. And he was like, well, do you need something or whatever? And I was like, give me tape or something. I don't know. <laughs> so that was the first time when I actually officially tucked. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. So, yeah. Wow. So at a fashion show, it was yeah. a runway and you I tucked that shit and I went it look and it looked natural as hell when I took the pictures and everything Ooh. and I was like, oh. Wow. Were you nervous walking? A little bit. I try not to like when I get nervous, I just keep focused and I don't look at no one. And I just keep the, the serious face going. That's like, I would have been sweating bullets. Like your first time ever tucking was on the spot, basically. Yeah. Did you not know that you were doing um, swimmer that day? Or no, something? I knew, but I thought like they would have like something custom for me. Oh, okay. But they was like, no, baby, you wearing a bukini, mm -hmm. and I was like, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I remember you said something about like feeling down and everything as far as your transition goes, and I know I'm like all over the board. I'm like back and forth, no, but. It's okay. As far as those moments when, like I said, you felt moments of insecurity as far as transitioning, was this in regards to your looks or as far as what? I would say my looks and, you know, what I was born as, mm -hmm. you know, male. And I just, I wanted to be pretty. I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to be a female. I wanted to have everything as a natural female would, you know. And I got in a really depressed state when I was young. And of course, you know, me being young, I did attempt a suicide. Okay. But um, I come into terms, you know, and I accept who I am now as a person. And anyone who doesn't take me for me, you fuck it. Hey, take what you get and you not leave. Okay. Are you currently in a relationship? Uh, we not no. answering that? <laughs> <laughs> not really. Kind of, sort of. Complicated. Dating. Put it that way. Something of the sort. I wish, but it's complicated. Smash and pass. <laughs> <laughs> Etc. Okay. All right. I'm asking because I saw some pictures from prom and uh, I was just wondering, you know, who this was oh and what God. was going on. I was being nosy. Because honestly, I was looking to see if I can find some before pictures of you and I'm like, this girl will have no pictures. Like, hey, Transformation Tuesday. This yeah, is. Yeah, I only have one. It really? Was, yeah, I posted it when I was combining it with when i was at the b fly event mixer okay. and i did it there it was like trans um uh, visibility day i think it was oh okay and that's when i combined them both because i'm like i haven't seen any pictures like i have people stalking your pages trying to find because i'm like see if you can find pictures of freya yeah. <laughs> yeah, girl, I try to okay. keep that. The, only, the only way you'll find is if you go on facebook and you mm. look at my tag photos with my family that's when you uh, see the old that's me. where they find you yeah. oh all right so i know we touched on you just mentioned family when you guys have family gathering do you feel any kind of like tension as far as people approaching you or anything of the sort or um a little bit but honestly we haven't had a family gathering well they do it but like me and my sister, we don't go. This is just by choice, just... Yeah, we... Because the way... if They they want us to come, but they want us to come as men. And I'm like, Ooh, baby, no. no, that's not happening. So you're not going to see us. We're going to wait till you act right. And that's just that. I respect that. Because I know some people who, just to feel as a part of their family, they would probably, you know, switch it up that one day for that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because if you don't stand for it, then nobody's going to respect it. So exactly. I, I give you props on you that. Seriously. Exactly. And the whole, this is a phase thing is going to be like, see, it's just a phase. You'll get over it. Like, yeah. So I completely don't budge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like at this point, you really can't just, you know, what, what are you going to wear? <laughs> it's I'm like, I'm you. growing boobs. I don't know what you want me to I'm do. Like, you, like, that's child. a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. How do you feel about raising children as a trans woman is that something that how do you feel like you would be as a mother like would that be something that you early on discuss with the children or would you wait until they're like older or how do you feel like you would approach this this is just hypothetical um, you know what do you I, see? I want my kids to be very knowledgeable mm -hmm. so um i'm not gonna 
Like, I'm going to let them know. Like, I'm not going to sit there and tell them, be like, hey, sweetie, I'm trans. Like, no, I'm going to be like, your mommy is very unique and mm-hmm. different from most moms. You mm-hmm. know, I'm going to give them a little hint here and there. Yeah. But I'm not going to sit there and be like, hey, I'm trans. Yeah, I mm-hmm. feel you. Just feed it to them a little at a time. Yeah. Okay. And we talk about experiencing different things as people, you know, with your trans experience and everything of that nature. And when it comes, get a little bit personal, when it comes down to like sex, okay, seeing as though you are bisexual, where sex is concerned, how fluid are you as far as receiving pleasure? Pretty good. I mean, it's been a while, <laughs> you know. Is I'm... this because of work or life, people suck, etc.? <laughs> All of the above, honestly. Okay. Like, working and then also like doing people just, just they just want me for sex and i don't want if i would just want a sex i can literally get anybody right now say so that that's not what i want so okay. it's like no you're gonna you, <laughs> sex is only temporarily the feeling is only temporarily that's why i say i like the personality more because mm-hmm. if the personality and feeling is there that lasts for a while that's true that's very true as far as that goes do you masturbate no not at all no mm-hmm. toys or anything you just out here just no. celibate i'm just basically with the, um with the hormones mm-hmm. they i don't need to like you know masturbate as much okay. because it takes away like the feeling oh really yeah like it takes away me having to be, like say you know how guys are they're like jack rabbits every mm-hmm. minute they're ready to fuck no that's not me like you gotta sit there. Listen, gotta, some wow. women too, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some women too. You gotta, you know? <laughs> yeah. But for me, you gotta, like, wow me. You gotta, like, put in effort. It. Yeah, put in, like, romantic shit, you know? Okay. So you're a softie? You like yeah. romantic shit? Oh, my God. Oh, way. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Cuddling and all that fun stuff. Yes. Holding um, hands. I, I should have figured. You said you like sitting on the beach and enjoying a night. Like Yes. All the way. <laughs> well... Is there anything you want to share that I haven't already pried out of you? <laughs> um, I think we got pretty much. Uh, don't just don't be afraid to be who you are, you know. And don't. And if you're like an ally, just let the person be. They might be having a bad day, or ask them how's their day. You know, it's we're you know friendly people. Don't be afraid to talk. This is very true. You want to plug any social media or anything of the sort? Anything that you're working on that you want people to be aware of or involved with or anything of the sort? Um, my Instagram, y'all can, you know, hit me up. You know, the official Freya R. You know, y'all can see a couple of my modeling pictures. But yeah, go ahead, follow, subscribe, link, tell everybody, <laughs> you know, share. All righty. We're going to wrap this up. I'm going to thank you for coming in and sitting down and talking with me. Oh, If anyone is interested, like she said, you can find her on the social medias. She's on YouTube. She's on Instagram. Um, She's out here modeling, ripping a runway and all this fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So just keep your eye out. I'm, you know, every other week, Pointless Talks. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe on SoundCloud, Apple Music, Pointless Talks, Pointless Talks, Pointless Talks. Google Play Music also. Don't forget Google Play Music. If you like us, rate us, give us five stars. Leave all in a bad mind feelings them to in a self. And just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. Ew.